Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome in to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. And the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group is here to really help guide you when it comes to your retirement. The Big Picture Blueprint gives you direction, clarity on your road to retirement, income, investment, taxes, health care, long-term care, legacy planning, Social Security and the income part, Medicare and the health care part. A lot of moving pieces when you get to retirement. And Rick and the team are here to help guide you if you would like that. Basically, you just give them a holler, have a 15, 30-minute conversation with them because you got questions, you got concerns. And this is one of the ways to find out, you know, I think I've got enough, Rick, but I don't really know. This is a great way to find out because there's no cost for this. It's complimentary for you. 800-700-1980 is the number. 800-700-1980. And, of course, you can find out more about Rick and the team just by going to the website, Safeguard Investment. Dot com safeguardinvestment.com. Rick, how are you? You ready to go? Yeah, doing real good. Thank you, Mark. So, all right, let's talk about this because there, there's certainly, you you deal with pre-retirees and then you also deal with people that are already retired, right? So let's talk about a pre-retiree. Say they're three to five years away from retirement. Rick, that's an important time to not make any huge mistakes, probably financial. What's really at stake in that three to five year window before I get into retirement? You know, I would say to make sure that you have no surprises. The challenge that we run into is when somebody is, you know, six months away or a year away from retirement, and then they decide they're ready to retire and they're starting to put together a plan, and then they realize, hey, wait a minute, I'm not where I need to be. Or maybe there's some areas that I'm having a shortfall in. So I think that, you know, anybody that's, you know, three to five years away from retirement, should absolutely uh, uh, sit down with someone and look at, hey, you know, my income, uh, what it needs to be in retirement. The other thing is we got to look at taxes because that can have an impact on your retirement as well, how much money you're going to have available each and every month. The other thing that we want to look at is healthcare costs. You know, if somebody's three to five years away from retirement, does this mean that they're retiring prior to 59 and a half or are they retiring after 62 you know, depending on the age that you retire, makes a big difference on on, on a variety of taxes. It also makes a, a difference on potentially uh, Social Security. I mean, there's just so many areas we can go into, but bottom line, and also making choices, making sure, you know, regarding shortfalls on, on, on pensions and all the rest of it. So rather than having a big mishmash, I, I would say that the sooner you do your planning, the better off you're going to be because there are certain strategies that might be able to be employed in your situation to enhance what it is that you're already doing prior to retirement. And bottom line, make sure that there is no surprises when you are ready to retire. You know, one of the big questions I, I know you get for a lot of people who are getting ready to retire is, Rick, have I saved enough? Now, that one's, it sounds like an easy question, but you sat down with people that had, you know, a couple million dollars and it wasn't enough because of their lifestyle. They didn't have that guaranteed income coming in to cover their lifestyle currently. So they had to make some adjustments. You sat down with people that had a quarter million dollars and it was enough. They probably had a pension, social securities, didn't have any debt, house paid off, all that kind of stuff. So that question, have I saved enough, seems simple, but it really depends obviously on who you're talking to. Right, absolutely. And, you know, think about it just from a healthcare standpoint. If you retire at 65, healthcare costs are going to be X amount because you have Medicare. If you decide, hey, listen, I'm thinking about retiring prior to 65, and all of a sudden you realize you were thinking about retiring and you realize that, you know, the healthcare costs for you and your wife are going to be over $2,000 a month. For some people, they're like, oh, I got to keep working. I didn't plan for that. I didn't realize healthcare costs was going to be this much. And, and, you know, and there's a variety of other areas and a variety of other examples I can give you. But that's where I was saying that, hey, listen, we want to make sure that there are no surprises. And then also whatever plan that we have in place to cover the income, 
making sure that the lifestyle is, 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 is set up appropriately. We want to make sure that that's going to be able to continue on for the rest of your life, but also make sure that there's, you know, a plan in place that will allow for, you know, inflation to give you incremental adjustments over time you know, to allow for inflation, but also everybody's goals, everybody's objectives are different. Some people, you know, may want to travel more. Others are, Hey, you know what, Rick, I did a lot of traveling earlier on in my career. Maybe I would just want to play a little golf, spend more time with the grandkids. So a good advisor will sit down with you and know what questions to be asking you, figure out what your objectives are and what you're trying to accomplish, and then design a plan specifically around you and your situation rather than you just, you know, Googling general information on the internet and they, and they're, or, and, or they're lumping you in with everybody else. Here's a great opportunity for you, I think, that Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group have created. It is an opportunity for you to find out some of those questions maybe you have about your upcoming retirement. So if you're in that window, three to five years, eight to 10 years out from retirement, this is a great time to get the retirement toolkit that Rick and the team have put together for you. The toolkit includes retirement guides, right? Taxes, Social Security, those kind of things. The general information you need to understand as much as you can about retirement because you've never retired before. So to get this toolkit, all you have to do is text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. There is no cost to you whatsoever. You're not saying I'm going to be a client at some point of safeguard. Maybe, but you might have questions you want to call them afterwards. But just text the word toolkit. You get the retirement guides. You also get Reed Abedin, Reed and Eddie Soda and Rick Rivera, the three partners of Safeguard Investment Advisor Group. So when they do their seminars, it's about an hour long webinar. So what they did for this toolkit was Reed cut it down to about a half an hour. It just kind of gives you the highlights, what Safeguard could do for you possibly. So it's the retirement guides and the webinar. If you'd like it, just text the word toolkit. No cost to you. 951-667-4969. 951 951- 6674969 great opportunity for you to get started on this process trying to get a little insight maybe as you're moving along you know one of the challenges i think rick and you've been doing this for you know well over 20 years now you think about it one of the challenges is okay we've done this during our working years the accumulation phase now we're into retirement there's some transition areas i'm imagining completely when we go from accumulation phase it's, it's a huge difference going from accumulation phase into what we call income distribution phase. And this is where the game completely changes because unfortunately what I'm seeing out there uh, nowadays is, you know, somebody may have a portfolio of stocks, bonds, what have you, and they're working with the broker. And now that they're going into income distribution phases, oh, you know, maybe we'll just, you know, cut down the risk and we'll just readjust the portfolio, do, you know, reallocate the portfolio. And we've seen how that worked out in 08 and other areas. I can give you many other examples where people, you know, if you're pulling, you know, 4% out to live on, the market's down 10, you're now down 14. And now you're stressing and you're wondering if you have enough, you know, uh, money to last you the rest of your life. So the when you go into income distribution phase, there are plans or strategies that we specifically use for our clients to make sure that, hey, for your income, for your security, this foundation is locked in tight. So regardless of what happens you know, market-wise, market conditions, you know you're going to be okay. And then also, I'm not saying we run away from all risk. Don't get me wrong. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. You know, we, we do need to be in the market. We do need to have, you know, uh, those types of investments. But we need to make sure that the risk that we're taking in our portfolios makes sense for our particular situation. And whatever risk we are taking on, whatever, you know, volatility that, that there is in the market, the way our portfolios are set up, it, it's being used to enhance what we're doing not take away. So there is a complete different process, the accumulation phase versus income distribution phase. I even wrote an article in the Daily News about it. And if people want to, you know, call in, we can even send them that article that that discuss it more in detail. And that number is 800 700 1980 and say, hey, Rick was talking about an article that he wrote. I, I would like a copy of that. There you go. We'll just email it right to you. There you go. 800 700 1980 Just quickly, the final thing we'll talk about, and we're going to head to the mailbag in our final segment. Uh, just questions that Rick and the team have picked up from people that come in, people at their uh, events that they put on. So it'll be kind of a fun segment there. Taxes. Taxes are one of those areas. And if you think about taxes. I think a lot of people think, well, when I retire, my taxes will be lower. 
Well, that was certainly the case for our grandparents, but we're in the IRA 401k world of tax deferring, tax deferring, tax deferring. Not necessarily the case, is it? No. And you know what I'm seeing here is there's there's many clients that we're running into that while they were working, you know, think about it, you had, you know, the kids at home. So you at least had those exemptions. You had a mortgage on the house. So you had at least that interest you can write off. Then when they retire, kids are out of the house. You, have, you don't have those exemptions anymore. Home is paid off. You don't have those write-offs anymore. And many of them are retiring with the same salary or some, to some cases, even more money than what they were working. And they're finding that they're in, they're in a higher tax bracket, which, you know, now most people, I would say a huge percentage have a big majority of their assets in IRAs, 401ks, things of that nature. So now, as we know, any money we pull out adds directly to our marginal. And, you know, I have scenarios now where, you know, people that are retired, maybe they want to buy an income property. Maybe they just want to buy a a vacation home. And they have this big bucket of money sitting in their IRAs, 401ks, and they can't use it because they're like, Rick, if this place cost me four hundred grand, in order to, it's going to cost me five hundred, five hundred and fifty thousand after taxes for me to go uh, buy a place somewhere else. And and I can give you a bunch of other examples, but what happens is you're losing control. So one of the things that people should analyze and try to figure out for themselves: Does it make sense to maybe convert to Roth? Does it make sense to contribute more now to? Uh, Roth IRA. So that way later on in life, regardless of what Uncle Sam does to people tax wise, you're in the driver's seat. And if you need a big chunk of money out of your account to buy a second home or maybe a new car or whatever it is, you don't have to think about, oh my gosh, what is this going to do to me tax wise? So I think this is an important discussion that one should have, especially prior to retirement. Yeah. So you think about all of those moving parts, you're, you're, the idea, so the government was really kind of smart, the IRS saying, no, nah, we don't want your money right out of school. You get that first job. No, tax defer it. You need money. You're raising a family. They wanted the, the harvest. They didn't want the seed. So you think about that. Taxes are going to change in 2026. We're over $33 trillion in debt now. We just rolled over $33 trillion. There's a lot of moving parts here. The Roth world could be exactly what you need, but it might not be, right? So Rick and the team have to sit down with you, talk with you about your situation, find out what might be the best scenario for you. Can they help you? They don't know that either. So reach out. Talk with them. There's no cost. 800 700 1980, 800-700-1980. It's one of the more important phone calls you make. Give you a little clarity into your retirement picture. 800-700-1980. Going to have some mailbag questions when we come back right here on the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now, back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. Rick is a partner of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You can always find out more, and they put on events from time to time as well. All that information on the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. If you have questions, you want to find out more about your positioning for retirement, it's around the corner. I'm not sure I'm on the right track. I don't really know. I think I've got enough. I'd like some clarity. Here you go. Call the team at Safeguard, 800-700-1980. No cost, no obligation, no pressure. The team doesn't know if they can help you until you reach out, so not charging you anything. It's an opportunity for you to find out where you are, 800-700-1980. All right, we're going to do some mailbag questions. These are questions that people have had coming in, uh, maybe at the events that they put on. Maybe they've emailed with a question. They're kind of fun to do, and and I will say this. Our first question comes from Frank in your Belinda. And, Frank, I would say this. If you're sitting down with Rick and the team at Safeguard, it makes more sense because you can ask follow-up questions, but also Rick can ask you follow-up questions because he really can't give you the total answer because he doesn't really know your story, which is really important in helping you create that plan for retirement. But we always enjoy these questions and figure other people might have these same questions. So that being said, Rick, are you ready to tackle some mailbag questions? Yeah, let's do it. I'll give it a shot. All right. First question comes from Frank in your Belinda. Rick, will Social Security be there for me in the future? If I listen to the news, I'm not sure if I should count on it for my retirement or not. I bet that's a question you've been getting a lot in the last three, four, five years. 
You know, I actually get that question quite a bit. And here's here's what I can tell you, Frank, or here's what I can tell anybody that that is concerned about that. You know, number one, obviously we don't have a crystal ball. So I think the best thing to do is plan for the worst case scenario. If it occurs and it's not there, you have a backup plan that will cover you. Do I think that it's going to go away anytime soon? I doubt it very, very much. They may raise, you know, the uh, retirement age and play with certain ages and things like that in order to uh, preserve it. I don't think it's going to go away completely. Like I said, not anytime soon, possibly for maybe the, you know, much younger generations. But what I do know is that many of the clients that we deal with that have that concern, what we are doing is we are putting together plans. We're putting together strategies. So that way, if it does occur, they'll be okay. So again, we're planning for the worst case scenario. If it happens, you're fine. If it doesn't happen, well, then you know what? Social security is just going to be icing on the cake for you, but it's it's good to at least be aware of it and, and plan for the worst case scenario. So what are the challenges with social security? Certainly is the fact that we've, we've seen this for a long time now on the social security statements. Hey, there's a chance by 2034, 2035, that we may only get, be able to give you 78 cents on the dollar. So there are certainly those kind of things. But, Frank, that's a great question. Time will tell. I like Rick's idea. <laughs> Maybe plan on not having it. But I'm 63, almost 64. They better not mess with my Social Security. That's all I'm saying. 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980 if you have questions about Social Security and how maybe you could set it up. When should you start it? All those kind of questions. Next question, Rick, comes from Gareth in Anaheim Hills. Rick, I was just reviewing my pension plan, and the option I chose when I was a new employee might not provide much for my wife if I die before her. Is there anything I can do to make this right, or is there anything I can set up so she can still have income if I die? Ah, very good question. Here's the thing, and and, and and people that are listening right now, it's so important that, especially with the pension plans, that you do set that up correctly, especially when you retire. They're going to give you a variety of options. So that way, if, if God forbid, one spouse predeceases the other, we're not leaving the other one, you know, out to dry. Now, if you already set it up, so if you're talking, Garrett, that you're, you know, already like the, you're, you're receiving the pension and it's already set up and you're boxed in, then yes, there's a variety of different things that can be done in order to offset that to make sure that your spouse is going to be okay. One of the uh, things that we need to do is figure out, okay, if something happens to you, are you also getting Social Security? Because now if the pension is gone and we're going to lose a Social Security check, what is that true shortfall going to be? Is it just a pension? Is it Social Security check? So what we have to do is figure out what income your spouse is going to need if, God forbid, something happens to you. We need to figure out what that shortfall is. And then what we need to do is design the plan based around that shortfall. So it may be a restructuring the, the investments. If you're in a situation where, you know what, I didn't even save enough. You know, then we may have to look at, hey, is the home paid off? Does it does it make sense to do a reverse mortgage in a desperate situation? I mean, there's all different strategies that can be used. But before we do that, again, we have to look at income. We need to look at uh, what the income is going to be needed, what the shortfall is. And then based upon that shortfall, we can fill in the gap. And I want to add one last thing. The other thing that's so important, too, for the, for the uh, surviving spouse is what is taxes going to be? Because a lot of people don't realize this. That, you know, if we're collecting Social Security, once we become single, they actually lower the threshold where Social Security is taxed. The other thing, too, is that now we're losing a standard deduction on our taxes. And then also we're automatic, you know, a single person is in a higher marginal bracket than a married couple. And in our workshop, we actually show a scenario where one one spouse predeceases the other and we show while they were married they were making X amount of income. When the one spouse passes away, she's making less money, but she's paying more in taxes. So you can actually lose income and pay more in taxes. And we actually show that and diagram that out in a workshop, how how, how this can occur. So this is so important that you get this address ASAP. 
So, Gareth, that's obviously for you, but also for anybody that has pension questions, because there's a lot of moving parts here, and Rick and the team might be able to help guide you and maybe help you make a better decision for your situation. It's 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. And again, there's no cost to you to chat with the team. They're here to help if they can, and then you, you figure out where to go from there. Uh, but you're going to get some great information right out of the gate, 800-700-1980. All right, final question. Just a couple minutes left in our show. Uh, this comes from Debbie and Chino Hill. Rick, I found a box of statements when I was cleaning out our closet, and I realized I have no idea just how much money is in our accounts. I just manage a checking account because I pay the bills, but I really don't know much about what else my husband is managing. What should I do? Should she actually talk to her husband, Rick? <laughs> you know, this is, you know, I'm glad you brought this up because unfortunately, I see this quite often where one spouse is not aware of what the other spouse is doing and they just kind of leave it up to them. And then God forbid there's an emergency or something happens to your spouse. And now you have to take control of the assets. The level of stress and anxiety that that's per that that person has is tremendous. So what I suggest and, 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 even, Deb, if you don't want to deal with the finances or anything like that, and maybe, you know, it's just not your thing, what I would say is that you and your husband should have a good discussion, at least know where the assets are, have just a basic understanding of, you know, the bills, where the investments are at, where everything is at. So that way, if God forbid something happens, you have some sort of there won't be as much stress and anxiety. At least you have a base to work from. I'm not saying you need to be able to draw the schematics of the engine, but you just want to be able to at least get that car from you know point A to point B. At least know the basics. And then if something happens, you can bring in professionals or family members, whoever you trust, to help you and guide you, you know, to then educate you more down the road. So, Debbie, an easy thing to do, wrangle your husband. Call Rick and the team at Safeguard and come in and talk about it. Let's find out yeah. where you are. That'll give you some peace of mind, which is a great thing. It'll give you some clarity. Uh, your husband maybe doesn't even know that you're concerned about this. He's just going as, as around his daily business, right? 800-700-1980 is the number to chat with the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group. No cost to you. This would be a great opportunity, I think, to maybe ease your stress level. 800-700-1980. And of course, that goes for everybody listening. Rick and the team would, would love to hear about your situation, your hopes and dreams for retirement. Can they help? They don't know. They'd love to find out. 800-700-1980. Rick, enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. We'll do it again next week. Thank you so much, Mark. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC.